Hello, we are One Up White Oaks, and this is our design build pitch. The cafeteria is always full, even with split lunch breaks. There's never enough room in the library to study. It's a Formula One race when the bell rings to get a spot in the library. These are some of the things we've experienced and heard students at our school say about the seating situation at White Oaks. The cafeteria is always packed and noisy, while the library never has enough seating during lunch breaks. The lack of quality seating indoors for students to focus on studying, socializing, and eating during their breaks has led to students being seen eating on the floor in the halls, and even some students resorting to go home. However, on the contrary, we noticed that our school field has a lot of empty and a lot of vast space that we can uh, develop to work a really good project on. So the question we ended up with was, how can we give back to the community by cre building creative and inviting outdoor seating for more engaging community areas for everyone to enjoy? All right, now before we talk about our proposed solution, here's more of our thought process. So on the slideshow, there's some pictures of our cafeteria. It's filled up with mostly just large tables. Um, and there's limited internet, which students often study in the cafeteria. And it's always crowded and noisy, which makes it difficult for those students trying to study. And what's missing from our cafeteria is better seating arrangements and some quiet workspace. So this is our thought process for the library. So some things that are already there include smaller tables, quiet space, and internet. However, with that, the space is not versatile at all. So it is impossible to eat and study at the same time, making it completely impractical as the space is also almost always filled up. Uh, and then when we thought about outdoors, we saw that there was a lot of versatility to different types of activity. And, and unlike the library, we can eat, talk, and study. And with this, we chose outdoor as our site. So our, our proposed solution, we are a very cool club. So we have a very cool acronym, the ICE method. We're going to firstly idealize and build outdoor seating within our school community to provide a quiet and relaxed environment for everyone to enjoy. We're also going to collaborate with community partners to support us in our design and construction pro pro uh, process. We have an amazing apprenticeship and woodworking program at our own school that's, going, that's ready to donate supplies and help us out with the technical aspect, as well as nearby colleges and community colleges that are also willing to help. We're also going to engage the school body in various parts of the design process based on their interests. We're going to engage not just chapter members, but everyone in our school whether they want to voice their opinions or plan, we're going to give them exposure to everything that matters to them. Using the ICE method, we're going to be working towards our vision, which is to ensure all White Oak students can succeed academically and socially by creating a comfortable and quiet environment for years to come. So, I know what you're thinking. What are, why outdoor seating? What are the benefits? Why not add seating in the cafeteria? Well, firstly, there's been a lot of studies that have attributed outdoor seating to a good mental health. It boosts your mood and your happiness, but it also provides a quiet place to study and relax away from all the distractions within our school of nearly 2,300 people. We also, it also provides a good place for socializing, especially with so many grade nines and freshmen who are kind of new to the school and coming from all sorts of places uh, within our greater area. They're able to socialize and meet new people without the hustle and bustle of the cafeteria. Um, so as a result, this was our project, which we called the studio. So in it, we feature um, a kind of like a divider, which also doubles as a, as a whiteboard for um, working and drawing um, different like equations. Um, we feature different um, individual studying quiet desks with um, different planters in between to act as a divider to encourage more individual um, like studying and individual work. Um, it also acts as kind of a nature idea and has a nature theme that also builds off the idea of a serene and quiet environment. However, on the other side, which is more evident from the prototype, we have an aspect which, is, which has a long bench, which that allows for more group work and more group collaboration that can encourage um, yeah, more collaboration and more teamwork. In order to realize our project, we've approximated the cost of materials involved in our design using Amazon and Home Depot to scale our project. The materials we need are 2x4 inch wood planks, weatherproof whiteboards, waterproof seat cushions, gravel for the foundation, wood screws, gardening soil, assorted plants, and paint for the artwork on the seating. We researched online to give price ranges for each material and reached an estimated cost of $950 for the final product. Now you may be wondering what makes our seating area different from regular seating areas. 
Well, we have an area that can be used collaboratively and independently with the benches that are more meant for socializing and the other side that's more meant for independent study work. It can also have, it also has a whiteboard which encourages outdoor learning and can be used in conjunction with our outdoor classrooms. And it's a feasible design that can be scalable in future years as we have carefully considered the budget. With that, with that being said, help us make a change one time. Help us build something uplifting. Help us design a positive environment. Help us one up our community. So the wood materials that we're going to use are like outdoor grade, you know, it's kind of similar to like picnic tables in that sense. So a lot of the materials that we're going to use, we thought of, you know, weatherproof whiteboards, we thought of, um, you know, weatherproof wood materials. Um, a, a lot of things, we've also incorporated nature within it, so we, we've thought about all these things with like sunlight and, you know, using the appropriate materials. Um, we've got, we also have a lot of guidance from our woodworking uh, program that's going to help us get those right supplies and build those things. I'm wondering if you thought of different, um, more flexible furniture options. Like the bench, I think it was like the table with a divider and, and some benches. But were the benches modular? Could they move? Uh, yeah, so that's what, those are one of the things we're considering. Again, it's a pretty big school and, you know, uh, a lot of stuff like people could take those benches and lift them. So we were thinking of like weighing them down to the ground, but we also made a comfortable kind of seating area. We're thinking of like also one more support. Um, we're adding cushions, so those are some ways we can make it kind of comfortable and kind of take over. Like, because if we make it modular, there's only the tables only here, right? If you're moving around the chairs, there's not like. So that's why we decided to make a big group bench instead, where a lot of people can sit together and work together. So that does that's kind of offset. Okay. Also, oh, sorry. Um, just a note uh, to add on to that. We also looked around at um, another like area within our school, and they noticed that like um, for one of the um, objects that they added, they secured it using kind of like a hook. So that allows for it to have some sort of a movement and some sort of flexibility, while also being like somewhat secured to the ground. Um, so that's something we're considering for the modular idea. Um, but yeah. Thank you, Buzz. Great answer. Okay. Thank you. You guys are obviously very collaborative, um, working together like this. Uh, question for you. On one of your maps, you had highlighted a number of different outdoor areas. Have you given any thought to where you would start with the first table and, and why? Uh, yeah, so we're actually hoping to roll out like a